Welcome to today's episode. We're traveling from Georgetown, South Carolina to Wilmington, North Carolina. We're gonna go up the ICW, chill. We've been fighting storms for a while, so it's just time for a nice, calm <laughs> few days to get there. So we're excited, come along. Hey there, I'm Matt, Nancy, Olivia, Mocha, and Cadence. And we've learned to call her home over the last year. So recently we sold all of our belongings and our house back in Houston to start full-time travel on the sailboat. And we're trying to live cheap, explore large, and escape hurricane season. So if you're new here, we invite you to subscribe and we hope you enjoy the show. You gotta see what Nancy's working on. What's going on, Nancy? Making breakfast. What? What you got there? Scrambled eggs for Libby. All right. Grits, toast, potatoes. Hi. Hi. You ready for breakfast, babe? Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Nice. Yeah. Traveling along here. We're uh, about to go to Georgetown Landing, the marina along the ICW. Get a little more diesel to make the rest of the trip. And it's been a beautiful morning. It's about 10.30 a.m. A lot of cloud cover, so we're glad that we came inshore instead of going offshore. This is gonna be very nice. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I know we are. And I hope we're doing justice to the beauty that's around us. We'll see you soon. next to Butler Island, just south of Butler Island in the ICW in the Whackamall River. I'm gonna trim the sails and turn up wind a little bit. I'll show you that. This is a Heritage Plantation Marina. It's a nice looking marina, really pretty. They do have transient slips for travelers such as ourselves. Um, it looks like they're less than $2 a foot to stay overnight. And there's a little town about two miles away with restaurant, bars, groceries. They do offer free laundry and water here at the docks. So really cool place to stay. I see diesel hoses. And if we weren't anchoring, this would be a strong consideration. We're pretty far inland, uh, large trees around. It looks. Uh, if we had to hunker down for a hurricane, I wouldn't be opposed. And they're floating docks, so that's really nice, really cool. So our friends on Slow Motion, um, you'll remember they were with us on the, Atl uh, the Atlantic, our first Atlantic trip. We've been buddy boating with them. Uh, a lot of fun, great people. <laughs> they radioed just now, and they're like, hey, slow down, we got a gift for you. I'm like, what? And so we have the boat um, down to about 2.9 knots, 2.8. And they're gonna pull aside and toss over a gift. I have no idea what it is. Let's take guesses. Some candy. Candy? Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe a bean and cheese tortilla? What do you think? I hope it's something fun or yummy. Or any, it's just exciting. It's just like really exciting. We've never gone down the ICW this close to someone that we know where we could actually catch or throw something at them. <laughs> I guess we're hungry if we're talking food. We are a little hungry, so let's find out what they have. They'll be up to second.
Okay, we are nearing our destination, coming to the end of the first day here. And the next marina up here, we're not stopping yet, but it's a lovely looking one. I'm gonna show it to you. It's the Wakawachi Marina. And it has transient berths. Looks like the dockside depths at low tide are eight feet. They have diesel and a few other services. I've read some reviews about them. They say the customer service is excellent. I can tell you right now, the scenery is it's marvelous, so. What's up? Hey, we're anchored up with our friend Slow Motion. Slow Motion. Rafting up. Look at this. Rafting up. Look at this. Catalina 400 and the Catalina 387. Cool. Look at this. Doing Atlantic passages. 40 knot storms. And a little ICW today. That was a nice change of pace. Got the moonrise. It's almost full. We could have used that offshore. Yes. It's rising too early. It doesn't last all night. Right. Got the sunset behind the trees. Neighbors over there. Can you say permission granted? Permission granted. Oh yeah. What do we got going on over here? We got good stuff. This is our post passage meal. Look at that. Nice. And then I'm pretty sure you've got something going on over on your side. I sure too. do. Let's check that out. I got the onions and bell peppers. What's up? Oh, weird. Okay, what do you right. want in your drink? Let's see. Um, so pineapple. Water. No, 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 no. I don't really care too much for that. I really like Dad's drink. Nice. Uh, there's a bottle of vodka down there. I want Is that the same for Bruce? I know it's Lone Star or something. Just take and one of those cups that is down there that has water in it and just throw the water out. You're going to put three cubes shrimp. of ice in it. Nice. Three cubes of ice. We'll see tomorrow on the water. $10 I'm just saying there's something magical about life on anchor. The simplicity, the peacefulness, the friends, nature. This is good. Elegant simplicity. All right, this was a nice little anchorage we stayed at last night. Um, little Oxbow River, close to a place called Enterprise Landing. And we have 70 nautical miles to go, so we're gonna try to knock out 35 today, 35 tomorrow. And if there's any um, distances we can't make or we wanna take a break, we can do that. And we'll do a third day. So we'll plan on two nights and possibly three days, but maybe make it in one night, two days. So, about to pull out, it's gonna be a motor. These trees kind of block the wind. But if we get a good long stretch where the, the wind just comes right down, we'll have a good motor sail. It's gonna be good. Try to average five knots, and we'll share some of the journey along the way. The first town we're gonna to go through is Myrtle Beach. I have no idea what we're gonna see, but we'll be sure to share it with you. And that'll turn us. shallow over there about six feet deep so I want to get some distance here I got plenty of room over here it's 20 feet over here and we got 15 under us now I don't have my instruments on hey Olivia can you turn on the nat all of my nav instruments thanks babe all right put her in forward turn to starboard and then I'll turn it around I push the trigger 
Um, we've left the nice calm swamp lands, I guess you'd call them. So this seems to be a more uh, developed part of the intercoastal waterway here in South Carolina. We're not in the um, Whack-a-Mall River anymore, I don't think. It's just the intercoastal waterway and there's a lot more development on the sides of the river. Houses, uh, jet ski rentals, a marina with uh, amenities, swing pool, things of this nature. So it's really pretty still. Less nature, a little more um, human integration. Look at that. River boat. Let's talk to uh, Nancy. She hasn't been on the camera much today. What's up, Nance? It's a um, gorgeous Myrtle Beach area, this canal. The houses in Carolina are so cute, so pretty. If I wasn't on this beautiful sailboat journey, I would probably want to stay here forever. Yeah, but the food is also in my mind. This is good stuff. Thanks, Nance. This is good. We had cheese, just mm -hmm. gone. And then we had chips and queso. Just a quick little snack. Was it good? It's not queso, it's salsa. It's salsa, yeah. Oh, excuse me? It's salsa, not queso. What? Salsa, not queso. It's a uh, Florida's fire roasted salsa. That's pretty, pretty good. good stuff. Pretty good the stuff. The thing I miss the most, the thing I miss the most about salsas is Texas Texas salsa. It's my favorite brand of salsa. So salsa's not the same out here, is it? No, it, it doesn't have the same Tex-Mex heat. Like. Yeah, that's true. Very tomatoey, huh? Yeah, it is. It's, it's good still. This one's actually really good. It's good. Different, but tomatoey. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make a long day of this. It is 5 p.m. This is Ocean Isle that we just passed through. Beautiful place. The, and through this stretch of the ICW, there really isn't a lot of opportunity to anchor for the night. And the marinas are mostly catering to shallow draft motor boats. Um, five feet kind of being the deepest. Um, our buddy boat is a seven foot keel. We're coming in at five and a half these days. So we're gonna add four more hours to our trip. We got a full moon on us, clear skies, and the ICW through here is, is quite straight and straightforward to navigate. So a little bit after dark, we should hit either a marina or an anchorage. Both of them are pretty close together, uh, about 20 more miles up the, the uh, interstate, the intercoastal waterway. We have both sails out. A little bit of breeze and we're only going 4.7 knots um, that's because there is a two knot current pushing against us so that hurts our progress a little North Carolina, North Carolina! temperature of the air? Oh, the temperature here is way better than Houston at this time of the year. It has been breezy and almost a little coolness to the air. Yep, yep. Um, I feel like we've got little wasps of jet skiers around us that sometimes I wish I had a water gun. I could just like pop them in the back. <laughs> yeah, here they are. Watch this. Zipping by. All the time. Everywhere. But the people will sit out at the end of their docks. If you take a look to the to my port right now, you'll see some. They're very friendly. We wave. They wave. It's I don't know. It's been so fun. Yeah, I mean everybody's out. This is the waterway, so everybody's out having a good time. A lot of fishing boats, uh, some tubing, plenty of room. By the way, this is 
probably some of the simplest waters we've navigated. Have we turned at all in the last hour? No. <laughs> Not really, two or three degrees quarter starboard. It's just a straight shot, beautiful scenery, and yeah, I mean, if you don't mind the boats coming by, it's actually fun to wave and to watch all the people. It's a different experience than this morning when we were in the, the swamp lands with ospreys, eagles, and we were looking for alligators. We saw one yesterday, but not today, so it's beautiful. Yeah. I, and I where are we heading tonight? Uh, we're heading to a marina and a restaurant somewhere here in North Carolina. I don't know where, but I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, it's, it's very pretty. Every time we go somewhere, and Matt like starts recording and we start doing all the videos. I'm like, do we ever have to leave? Let's just stay here forever. Yeah. So it's fun to go to new places. Oh, you're tethered on. You're tethered on. Can you come here? Oh, poor doggy. Oh, poor doggy. <laughs> I'm so mean. I'm sorry. Let's get some water. Sorry. More jet skiers. Oh, that's dog. <laughs> 